Yesterday was stressful. What am I going to tell Freddy when he finds out that Bendy got fired? I'm going to get in so much trouble. Leave me alone, please. Hey, puppet. Oh, Freddy, look, I'm, I'm really sorry about Bendy. I... It's okay, puppet. I'm going to let this whole thing blow over. Wait, Freddy, what are you talking about? Bendy can... Bendy can stay. Even though he doesn't have a job. But he's only staying because I know that you tried your best. But Freddy, why did you change your mind? Well, luckily for you, while you were out with Bendy, BB talked me into letting it go. I find that very hard to believe. Trust me, I do too, but I think he's right. I did want everyone to have a fresh start, that we got that opportunity. We shouldn't worry about the past anymore. Phew, that's a relief. I thought we would get kicked out. Puppet, if you don't mind me asking, but why do you constantly say that if Bendy goes, then you and BB have to also? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just, I, I don't know. We've been friends for a long time now. It just feels wrong to leave him. I don't think Bendy really acts like a friend towards you. Look, I know he's arrogant and selfish and all, but I know there's some good left in him. Puppet, I hate to be the bringer of bad news, but I think Bendy might be using you. He's exploiting your kindness. But how? Because he knows that no matter what kind of trouble he gets in, he knows that you or BB will always be there to defend him for his actions. I know that this seems like a handful to take in. Keep in mind that this is just what I think. I could be wrong, but that seems like what's going on here. Hello, Thomas. You look troubled. Penny for your thoughts? <sighs> Lately, I've been thinking to myself about how to make a living again. Don't get me wrong, I used to enjoy being an entertainer for a wide audience, but that just got old. I've been doing that for around seven decades, and I feel like I should return a favor to you guys for allowing me to stay here. You have nothing to worry about, Thomas. We're glad to have you here. But if you want to try being in the business life again, may I suggest a food business? Perhaps maybe you can sell other beverages, like ice cream? We already sell pizza here, so if you'd like to help with a grand reopening in that way, you can. Hmm. That's a great idea. I've already got a couple of ideas. Thank you, Chica. Sup, Thamos. What do you want, Bendy? To know what this is. Is this an ice cream stand? You bet. But I, uh, don't have any ice cream yet. I'll have to go to the store to buy some. Aren't you broke? Yes, I am. That's why I'm gonna be scamming the customers. Oh, nice. Yes, but shh. Don't tell anyone. Cross my heart and hope to die, I won't tell anyone. Excellent. Hey Thomas, I heard you were selling ice cream. Sure kid, what flavor do you want? We've got chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, double raspberry, cherry, rocket, slime, a popsicle of Duke, and a popsicle of me, because I'm delicious. I'll take a vanilla cone, because it reminds me of mango. Oh, you're an absolute simp. Anyways, that'll be $5.99. $5.99 for an ice cream cone? Are you serious? Very. Now pay up if you want your cone. Ugh, fine. 
but I'm never buying anything from you again. You're a ripoff. Thank you. Okay, now where's my cone? Hey, hey, BB, guess what? There was no cone. Bye bye. What? I just got scammed. Perfect. One person conned out. Now it's time for another. <gasps> Father, can I have an ice cream cone? No, Chris. Why not? Because I'm a cheapskate. He probably wants a thousand dollars for a bowl with two scoops. Can't we at least look? Okay, fine, we'll look. But if he's got anything over ten dollars, we're not getting anything. Fine. And how may I serve you today, fellow customers? Chris, what do you want? Moss. He's not selling moss. Strawberry. How much is a strawberry ice cream? Nine dollars. Nine dollars? That is still under ten dollars, Dad. Fine. No, give a dollar back. Sorry, but this counts as tax. Anyways, I'll be going now. Bye-bye. Damn it! Dad, where's my ice cream? He didn't give it to us because he scammed us. We got scammed? Yes. I'm calling the police. Because I didn't get my ice cream? No, because he took my $10. Ha <laughs> That was so good. Now for my third customer. Ooh, Thomas, can I have a bowl of ogre butt ice cream? Shrek, that's not an ogre's butt ice cream. It's a slime ice cream. Oh, no, no, no. I know an ogre's butt when I see one. <sighs> okay, whatever. That's what you want? Yes. $11, please. How long will it take to get ready? Shrek. My dear Shrek. There is no ice cream. Ciao. Oh, give me my ogre ice cream. What the hell? <gasps> 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 Phew, that was a close one. I'll sell one more ice cream and then call it a day. Hey, you, do you have any ice cream here? What flavor? I guess I'll take a chocolate. That'll be $4, please. Here's a five. So, about the ice cream. I don't have it, sorry. You got scammed. Star Production. Ah. Well, that hurt. Maybe selling fake ice cream was not a good idea. Ah, oh, man. What a day. Thomas, what's this I hear about you scamming people into buying fake ice cream? Okay, look, I was just trying to make a quick buck. Thomas, you need to understand that if you want people to give money to you, then you have to give them something in return. I didn't have any real ice cream! Dude, if you need any of our help, you could have just asked. Yeah, and also, you can help us around the pizzeria. Alright, let's cut the mushy crap here. You can either give my child a strawberry ice cream like I paid for, or you can give me my $10 back. Okay, fine. I'll give you your money back. I'm really sorry about this. I had no idea what was going through his mind. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm getting a restraining order placed on everyone who lives in this pizzeria. Okay, we haven't even opened yet. Can you please hold off on that? 
How about this? If you don't put a restraining order on our establishment, then I'll pay you double the amount of money that was taken from you. I'll do it. Chris, let's go. Phew. At least that went well. Now then, Thomas, you're grounded. You're not my parent. No, but I am technically your guardian and landlord, so now you can't watch TV for a month. Well, that sucks. Oh, and I'm taking your ice cream truck. You can't do that. I worked hard on that. You don't even have hands. Okay, well, I may have had Olaf paint and cut everything on there, but the idea was mine. That doesn't matter. Okay, Thomas. No, listen up. I cannot have you or anyone else in this pizzeria mess anything up that can already damage our reputation before we have the grand reopening. That's why I'm going to let this slide this one time if, if you promise me not to cause any more trouble. Got it? <sighs> okay, I won't cause any more trouble, I promise. Do you swear? <sighs> okay, I swear on my mother's life that I won't do anything bad again. Good. Now, everyone, we still have plenty of work to get done for the grand reopening. Now let's get to it.